Ricardo Duran for the record. Consecutive successful knockout defenses, each at 11. They'll be using eight ounces of the last gloves in this one. Remember, we'll be coming to you later with Alexis Aguayo going against the number five rated contender. That'll be on Wide World of Sports. Also with the Kentucky Derby preview. Remember, next Saturday is Derby Day at Churchill Downs. Now the bell for round one. Duclo has scored 11 KOs in his 15 bouts. He is unbeaten thus far. But he has not faced the likes of the competition that Gomez has faced. Remember the stunning knockout by Gomez of a man then regarded as a boxing terror, Carlos Arate. Gomez has fought wily veterans like Carlos Mendoza, gave Wilfredo trouble. 10 rounds. Gomez, even though he's only 23, has excellent experience behind be always aware of the tremendous power of either Gomez fist. Record of 28 knockouts. 28 victories, no draws, no losses, one draw in his very first fight. Minute 45 into round one. of pawing in this round. Good left by Gomez, the first good blow of the bout. Into the final minute of the round. Gomez with a quick combination, a light combination to the head. slight smile on his face but that's no place to be against Gomez Pero Wilfredo, según continúa su carrera, tiene que también pues, brindar un cierto tiempo de eh, específicamente cuando la situación esté bajo control, porque la tradición cuesta muchísimo dinero, especialmente para los Estados Unidos. Vamos a continuar con el segundo asalto. Now advise we have lost the picture in New York. We apologize for that. Hopefully we'll get it back momentarily. In the meantime, in ring center, Gomez is trying to measure in Duplo. And just scored with a good left. Again, in Duplo with that peculiar smile with each punch he takes, but that's hardly a defense. Duplo trying to cover as his gloves up in Floyd Patterson fashion. You remember the old peekable. Gomez the aggressor. Gomez just moving relentlessly ahead. Now, and Duku has Gomez in a clutch. Not a clinch, but a clutch around the waist. Duku not scoring with any punches. Indeed, throwing a little advantage. 
Gomez with a good left jab. Dukuru with an attempted left that failed to score. Sorry again about the absence of the picture. We are transmitting from San Juan. There we go there. And Dukuru went down. A quick combination. A left and a right and a left. And then Dukuru went down. So far, regardless of weight controversy, he has been a pitifully outclassed opponent. Now we have the picture back. And Dukuru just got to his feet. Bobbing and weaving and yet coming in. Gomez trying to finish it now. Improving as a boxer. There are two quick right jab leads. A wild miss by Nduku that inevitably got away lucky would leave him open for a killing blow. Good quick right lead, then a left by Gomez. Gomez just looking for the one spot now to finish it. Move down to the midriff with a left. Duku with a short patty cake jab. There's another one. Another wild miss. Minute 15 into this, the third round. about 20 seconds ago. Not that strong. Moved in Duke almost off balance again. 145, another wild miss. One gets the feeling almost that Gomez could finish him whenever he wanted. That's a good right by Gomez. We now have a minute left in round three. Originally billed as a WBC featherweight elimination bout, I remind you that the winner has been promised a shot at the featherweight champion. Remember, on June 19th, I believe it is, Sanchez fights, or well, June 21st, uh, yes, it is the 21st, Sanchez defends his featherweight crown in a rematch against Little Red Lopez. Gomez moving up in weight classification. But in Dukwu, hardly a challenge. This third round listless because you get the feeling you're not seeing Gomez go all out. We are approaching the end of the third. Now, at the, near the end of the round, you saw in Dukwu take a couple of blows and stack it backward, and he does it again. Back live in San Juan, Puerto Rico, round four. Eddie Nduku of Nigeria to the right of your screen. Wilfredo Gomez to the left. 
a one-sided mismatch thus far. And Duke Blue's left eye closed almost shut. He's been knocked down twice, both knockdowns in the second round. First a left-right left series, and then the second one a left. You see Gomez improving as a boxer, liking to show a little bit of foot movement for you, even a half shuffle. As the third round ended, Gomez is giving a little bit of foot movement, lateral movement. He can do whatever he wants, apparently, within Duke who gives every appearance of being a nice kid. Problem is, he can't fight, at least not with Gomez. Minute five into the fourth round. Rey Solís intervenir y detener el combate donde Ducú era superado en todos los aspectos por nuestro Wilfredo Gómez. Ciertamente bien detenido el combate entre Wilfredo Gómez y Eddie Ducú. ¿Y qué puede aspirar Wilfredo? A un combate frente al ganador de la pelea entre Salvador Sánchez, el campeón de la nueva división que ha invadido Wilfredo Gómez, quien defenderá su título en pelea revancha contra... Eh, el coloradito López, Dani López. Amigos, ha sido un placer haber trabajado para ustedes esta noche. No se retiren que en breves segundos tendrán Noticentro en su segunda edición y allí les brindaré la información deportiva de la noche en compañía del compañero Guillermo José Torres y Luz Nereida Vélez. Por mi parte y a nombre de nuestro director y todos los compañeros que han laborado en esta transmisión, Angelito Concepción, al igual que Martín Suntache, Guillermo Vega y los otros compañeros, que tengan todos muy buenas noches. That's going to be up to the president of the World Boxing Commission.